Hello and welcome to 5 Minutes of Postgres. My name is Lucas and today we're going to talk about the incremental backup feature that was just committed to the Postgres 17 development branch. To be clear, this is very much off the presses and this may get changed or be removed completely. But I was very excited early this week when I saw that Robert Haas committed a way to have incremental backups directly in core Postgres. So when you run PG-based backup, you now have the option to do incremental backups. The idea is that you could essentially say, I do, for example, a full backup every 24 hours or every seven days, and then do incremental backups that reference that full backup and the incremental backups would only contain the parts of the data files that have changed. Note that this is different what you do with the write ahead log or wall in Postgres. Let's imagine we have a point in time restore and we want to say yesterday at 5 p.m. let me recover to that point in time because something bad happened right after and I want to make sure that I can recover to the known good time. I can do that today in Postgres but what I have to do is I have to go back to my most recent base backup and then restore that first and then replay the wall from my wall archive until the point that I want to restore to. When you're replaying wall, that actually has to apply all the changes that have occurred on a database. Imagine you're updating the same row over and over again. You essentially have a lot of duplicate information in the wall stream. Instead, with an incremental backup, you actually have snapshots in time and you have the actual diff between the time you took the backup to the previous backup. It's much more efficient if you're doing a lot of updates because you have to do less work to get to a particular point in time, assuming you're doing more frequent backups thanks to the incremental backup feature. Now let's take a closer look at this. An important component to making this work is the wall summarizer process. This is a new process that was added, which aids incremental backups in determining which parts of the data directory have changed as compared to the last time a backup ran. The idea is that you have a file which tells us which part of the table or the index have changed. And so then the incremental backup just needs to copy those parts of the files and doesn't have to copy the full data file. This is very efficient. And whilst you could try to do something like this with other utilities, the benefit here is that this is already happening as Postgres is running. And so it's just saving additional metadata that then can be used by the incremental backup process. This is an optional feature. And so we actually need to enable this flag to turn on the wall summarizer. The other thing I found interesting is how much of a difference can this make? How, why do we need incremental backups in the first place? On this mailing list thread on the Postgres Hackers mailing list, Jakub from EDB ran a test. This is a PG bench test. The idea is that the data size doesn't really change much throughout this test. This is a 24 hour long test, but the start database is 3.3 gigabytes. At the end, the database is 4.3 gigabytes. And then as it's running, it's continuously running PG bench workloads. In those 24 hours, if you looked at the wall archive, there were 77 gigabytes of wall produced. That's a lot of wall to replay if you wanted to restore to a particular point in time within that time frame. Jacob ran one full backup in the beginning and then incremental backups every two hours. The full backup in the beginning is 3.4 gigabytes, but then all the 11 other backups are 3.5 in total. They're essentially one tenth of full backup size. What the Jakob tested then was the restore to a particular point in time. Previously, to restore to a particular point in time would take more than an hour to replay the wall, versus in this case, because we have more frequent incremental backups, it's going to be much, much faster to restore. In this particular test case is 78 minutes compared to four minutes. This is more than 10 times improvement in recovery time. Of course, you won't necessarily always see this amount of benefit, but I think this shows why you might want to do this is because you want to enable more frequent backups and incremental backups are the way to do that. Let's try this out. I have locally a running Postgres 17 development version. Do not trust this for any relevant data, right? This is very much heavy in development, but let's take a look at how this works. Before we get started, we need to turn on the wall summarizer process. I'm gonna do alter system, set summarize wall to on, and then I'm gonna do a PG reload. This luckily is a reloadable setting. If you want to turn this on after the fact, you don't have to restart your database server, which is kind of nice. Now, wall summaries are going to be written. The idea is that each time you're running a checkpoint, you will get another summary file here. We want to do a base backup first. So we'll do PG base backup and we'll point this to the backup one directory. And then to speed this up, we'll actually do a checkpoint because otherwise it does a slow checkpoint. In this case, for testing, we want to do that fast. Now we have a backup one directory. 350 megabytes in size. Let's do an incremental backup and let's pass the backup manifest 
of that previous backup. For our incremental backup, in this case, is only 48 megabytes. If I do backup three, I can pass my backup two backup manifest. The incremental backups can rely on each other. And then if I take a look at that, that's even smaller than the second one. And so now what I need to do to be able to restore to the point of that backup three, I now need to use PG combined backup. And so I combine backup one, backup two, backup three to backup four. Perfect. And so now if we take a look at backup three full, we should see that that one has the full size of a full backup. And then let's start up another server. If we look at the log file, we'll see that that one came up successfully. We can see that this is the data as of a few minutes ago. Now we've successfully taken incremental backups. We've combined them into one working backup, and then we restored that server. And that was obviously a lot faster than if I had to replay the wall. Overall, this feature will save a lot of time and pain waiting for wall replay because you can now do more frequent incremental backups. And it's great to see this as part of Postgres core so that people can just do PG-based backup and then use the incremental mode to have incremental backups work. Very exciting. I hope this stays in Postgres 17, maybe gets even further improvements. And so then next year, September, October timeframe, we can actually use this in production. And before we close, a quick logistical note. We're going to take a break over the holidays. And we'll be back with 5 Minutes of Postgres on January 11th. Thank you so much for listening. This was 5 Minutes of Postgres. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to hear about the next episode and talk to you in three weeks.